Hey everybody and welcome back to John Plays Games where we are getting very near to the end of Star Fox Adventures. I'm not sure how many episodes we have left, but it's like one or two. Like we're super close to the end of the game. And here's the Queen Earthwalker, apparently. Fox, something is not right. The walled city has not yet returned to the planet. My husband is still stuck up there. You did return all of the spell stones. Of course, but wait. The spirits, they must have something to do with it. You're right. Without all the spirits, the magic cannot be channeled back into the planet. Your boss said to return to the wild city. There must be a shrine we've yet to find. All right. So we're going to go back to the walled city because there is a Krizoa spirit there that we still need to return. Um, and I think that's the last one. I mean, technically there's two on here. But I think Crystal has one, or maybe the last one's at the Crizoa Palace. I don't remember, but we're gonna go get this Crizoa. Okay, and, uh, Walled City. Hurry, Fox! There must be another Crizoa Shrine hidden within the Walled City. When you land, go directly to the King Earthwalker. He should be able to tell you where to start looking. Happy out! Alright. Fly through seven gold rings to open the Gatekeeper's Force Field! All right, let's zap some things, shall we? Boom! Bomb! Suck it, mines. Consider yourselves watched out for. Just can't get the timing right on those. There we go. All right. Doing a lot better than the first time we went through here. Oh yeah. Oh, just masterful flying here. Whoop. Well, I missed that laser power, but that's okay. Cause I got the rings. That's good. Alright, got all the gold rings. Thank you very much. Alright. So let's go find the King Earthwalker. Find this Krizoa spirit. Get this thing dealt with. Get this planet put back together. Did I see a guy? Oh, he's right there. And no T-Rexes to deal with. This will be a nice peaceful visit. Fox, on behalf of Dinosaur Planet, I thank you for returning the Spellstones to their rightful place. <laughs> for what good it did? If you didn't notice, you're still stuck up here in this floating rock. By removing the Spellstones, Scales caused our planet to tear apart. Returning the stones has stopped the flow of magic energy, but only by the power of the Krizoa spirits will the floating lands return. Seems like we both have our reasons for finding the last of the spirits. The Queen said I could find one here in the city. So where is it? Is Fox's reason the just to get Crystal? Will be revealed once both the Sun and Moon stones are returned to the temple. You guys have this Sun and Moon obsession going on here. You'd really like the new Pokemon games. It's a timely joke. Did you guys catch my timely joke? When the walls fade, time is your only enemy. Well, that's deep. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. Are those coins? Do I need to put these... Oh, wait. Oops. Do these need to go into there? Okay. I just have to push the blocks to the... How do you get that one to there? Oh, do I have to, like, have certain ones positioned the right way before I start? Because, like, I could push this one over to here. 
But then that one I already moved, so I can't do anything with that. Okay, so... Oh, but that one's already... Hmm... Unless that one's supposed to go there. Did I already mess it up again? I feel like I may have already messed it up again. Oh no, no we're good, because this one's just gonna go right like that. And then it's gonna go down to this one. And then it's gonna go over to there. And then it's gonna go up. Perfect! Did it! Okay. Now what? Oh, that's the way we came in. We have to go up here. Oh, wait, what was that? Ooh, there's a convenient elevator. It's nice. What's that? Oh, I just had to stare into it? Good thing I did that. I feel like that should just kind of like fall into there without that there. Okay, what do you got for me in here? I'm ready for your puzzles. Ready for your trials. Let's flip the switch. Oh, well that's just altogether too bad. Oh no! Oh, that was horrible. Do they always do that if I stand on them for too long? Or was that just something that happens over time? And that one falls away? Oh, I just said, okay, I think I have to keep moving once I'm in here. Oh jeez, okay, yeah, they- I need to be strategic about how I move while I'm in there, that's important. Okay, third time's a charm, we got this. Are you gonna go? Go! Gosh dang it. Fourth time's a charm. We better not have to fast forward such a basic little puzzle like this. I just have to walk better. I'm just not doing a good job of walking. Haha! Uh, -ha. Conquered. I conquered that bad fur day. Badunch! That's a good joke. Uh, what is it that you want me to do here? Oh, this is the ground quake. Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, totally. Oh, oh, oh. It's hidden wall time. Got to this, is that good? Over right here. <gasps> I did it! Yay me! Well, I did that on the first try. Does that redeem me a little bit for taking four tries to do the last thing? Oops. Wrong power. Let's try the right button. Ooh, a spinny thing. So I'm gonna have to zap it. Uh, do I have to, like, do these in order? Or something? Let's get some more magic. Is there one for each moon? Do we have one down here? No. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's try going this way. Of course, that does require that I actually be able to aim. Nope, okay, well we're not starting with that one. Now we know. Not s gonna do that one. Maybe it's, I wonder if it's, I have to go backwards, because this seems, you know, too simple. Oh no, that is how we do it, okay. Won't miss that one. So we'll just hang out here and wait. 
Hopefully there's not like a time limit. Like is that thing gonna go back when it goes past again? No, okay, that's good. Oh, it's getting fast, okay. Nope, even sooner. Nope, too soon. We got this, guys. There we go. Yay! Nicey bridge. Yay! Alright, so we got a rock. Place it under the temple to reveal the crystal shine. Okay, so where the entrance to that nasty dinosaur was. I can walk right through those, huh? And those don't do anything? Fine. Okay, so that went pretty well. Let's go find the other one. Okay. I feel like I have to do this, like, once through the wrong way before I can... Re okay. So the one... Okay. So all of these have ones that they can obviously get to right away. This one is the only one that doesn't. Um, this one has to go to that one because I can't push it out. Um, but if I push this one to right there, then it's going to stop there. Which is... F well, I want one to stop. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think I know what I have to do. That one has to go there. That one has to go there. And then to here, which then lets this one go to here. And then to here. And then this one goes to there. Look at that, guys. First try. Didn't even take me very long. Let's go stare into this. Seems like a good healthy thing to do. Ride the elevator. Boop. And stare directly into the circle. That is a weird mechanic. You'd think they'd just have you like push a button and then it would happen. Not that you have to look into a thing. It's kind of like that thing in Ocarina of Time where you have to, like, shoot the setting sun to get fire arrows. That was a weird puzzle. I remember the first time I did that puzzle and thinking, like, is this, this can't actually be what I have to do, right? It's, it's more, like, you know, of a real thing than this. I don't just shoot at the sun. It just seems so weird. I have no idea what I'm even doing right now. Do these have, like... I'm gonna, like, put these somewhere? Oh, that one has a logo on it, so that one has a sun. That one has a sun. And this one has a mood. Okay. So... I need to put... Put these guys up here. I'll move you out of the way. This guy over here. Slide him off to the side, so then we can put this guy... In here... You gotta believe in me, I can do it. I can do it. Fox is really putting his full effort into that. Okay, there's that one. And then... Oh, I'll bet the side... Does the side that has the thing on it have to go out? I'm gonna assume it does. Like, the one that has the sun facing this way. Because otherwise that one would have already been in the right place. So yeah, must be that this, the logo has to face out. Yep. Yay! These puzzles have been a lot easier than the previous area's puzzles. I'm sure this room will suck. Oh, where's my quake? Should I have looked around before I did this? I'm sure I'm gonna be timed now. Okay, I need to get into there. Okay. I got that. Oh, and it's another one of these things. What does that do? Does that turn off the secret walls? Yeah, it does. Oh, but that... Oh, okay, so then do I have to turn off another secret wall? Yep. I thought that may have seemed really easy. secret wall there. Oh, jeez. My, my. 
Let's uh, shoot that. And we can go through here. Assuming there's something here. Yep, tricky. Flame that. Wait for the fire to go out, like a pro, and then flip the switch. I think that's the first time I've actually waited for the fire to go out in this entire playthrough. I made it. Now let's go get that magic. Just wanted to turn off the timer. That's what happened to me in the last episode when I was catching up to where I was um, because I lost the or I uh, forgot to save um, in the last episode, so I had to do that part with the snow horn thing again. Uh, when I got to the last part that you have to blow the horn on, I like went off to go get some magic. So I'm like, well, I made it, and I forgot that the timer kept running. Okay. This one goes this way. So I assume... We'll, we'll try this, but I assume I need to start with the other one. Oh no, I do start with that one. Okay. Oh, and then that's... Okay, and then that's the setting sun. Okay. This one is what I was expecting the last one to be. Go around the opposite way that this is spinning. Okay. I really feel like I hit it with that one. There we go. These guys shoot fire. So this is kinda... How did they manage to create that with fire? Is this fire? Yep. Yup, it's fire. I tried. Turns out it was fire. Place it underneath the temple to reveal the Kazo Shrine. Okay. I am lightly singed. Grab some magic. And let's go. Get a Kazo. This is where we want to go. Alright, let's grab our items here. Wrong one. Yay! Ooh. And there's our warp. Let's get out there. Hi, Tricky. You missed it this way. course I like that they make you walk all the way around this temple every time. This is very nice. I appreciate it. Excuse me, sir. Are you going the right way? Nope. Nope, I did not go the right way. I needed to go... Oh no, this is fine. Okay. They just really like making you walk all the way around this. There's nothing they enjoy more in life than watching you go back and forth around this thing. Today, was it this way? Oh. That one I could actually see on the map. I probably should have gone with that one right from the beginning. Where's the door? There it is. Alright, let's go get this Krizoa. Hopefully this won't be too hard. This looks like the entrance to the first Kruzoa area. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a flashback. There are spider webs up there. Already have full magic. Not sure why I did that. Is Tricky with me? No, he's not. Okay. So I've got spinny dues. It looks like I can float my way through. Any buttons? No? Okay. Okay, so I assume the door's on a timer then. You know what? Screw it. Through the fire. Just through the fire, Fox. 
Was that on a timer? Could I have gone a lot slower? Looks like I could have gone a whole lot slower. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we gotta put out these. Oh, where was the... Oh, no. Oops. Open automatically? No. There's a button. Wait for it. Yep. Almost. There we go. Okay, we got another timed one. I got this. Okay. And... Huh. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Yep, right into it. Whoop. And there's a the Grizzola. Ooh. Like those little side rooms. Test 5. The test of knowledge. Match the items with the levels. If you succeed, I will become yours to return to the Grizzoa Palace. Okay. Um, so I got... What are, what are these? Okay, so what is this? This is... Oh, that's that's from the Walled City. Because that's one of the teeth. Where's the Walled City? There it is. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's from the Snowhorn Wastes. That's Moon Mountain Pass. That's not the right one. Uh... Snow horn, snow horn, snow horn. What even is that area? Is that it? Maybe that's the snow horn waste? It doesn't look like the snow horn waste. Nope, it didn't make the sound. Oh my gosh, we're running out of time! Are you supposed to be the snow horn waste? You look kind of like Moon Mountain Pass too. Okay, I guess that was snow horn waste. This is from. Is the con. Is that from. here? Nope. Oh boy, guys, I think I might fail this. I just dropped it in the water. Is that going to be a problem? Does it matter if it gets wet? I don't remember this thing at all. What even is this? This was the thing... Oh, this was from the, um... This was what I used to call the babies in the sky place. I didn't even see that area. And now I gotta walk back there. Okay, so cue the fast forward. Okay. Looking around. So this... I honestly don't know what area that's supposed to be. It looks like space. Okay, so that... That's Cloudrunner Fortress. Um... That is Lightfoot Village. This... was Moon Mountain Pass. That's the Walled City, and that's the Snowhorn Waste. And then whatever that is. I guess that has to be... I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, we'll just do everything else first. So, Snowhorn Waste. Goes there. Um, this is from Moon Mountain Pass. That, that was over here, right? Yeah. That didn't make the sound. Is that not from Moon Mountain? Is that from that other weird one? That I don't know what it is? Oh, there was a bean over there. That's from Moon Mountain House. Okay, that's an asteroid? Maybe that is just space. Maybe that was just an asteroid, and that's from space. Star Fox should, after all, recognize space. That's fair. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're one of those bricks from the Lightfoot Village. There should be, what, like one more? Where is it? There it is. And then the tooth from the Walled City. Is that all of them? Yeah! Alright!
Okay. So, I honestly am not entirely sure how far we are from the end of the game. Um, if I remember right, we are very close. Like, we go straight from here to the Crusoe Palace, and we might be, like, on our road to the this end of the game. Tricky. It's time to say goodbye. I know you're right, Vox. It's just... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna miss you, too. Without your help, this mission would have failed. So I've got something for you. Prince Tricky, Earthwalker, you are now an honorary member of the Star Fox team. Dad, did you hear that? Me, a member of Star Fox! Do I get my own spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and visit you soon. Just don't make it too long, okay? Of course, we know that the next time he'll see him, we'll be in Star Fox Assault, he'll be huge. Don't come with me! We just said a heartfelt goodbye. Um, anyway, what I was gonna say is I'm not sure how long we- how far we are from the end of the game. Um, I'm just gonna keep playing. If it turns out that, hey, guess what? I'm a while from the game, I'll end the episode right here. Otherwise, if it continues, then either I chose to end the episode later, or I'm just continuing to play toward the end of the game. But yeah, so if the episode ended, then goodbye. If not, hello, welcome back, congratulations, the episode kept going, or you're on a new episode. Uh, we're gonna go to the Kruzoa Shrine. We can't go anywhere else, we can only go to Dinosaur Planet. Let's go, Fox! Get that spirit directly back to the Kruzoa Palace! I have adjusted your flight path so that you will land at the top of the palace. As soon as you get there, head down inside to release the spirit. Pepper out! Alright. Let's release this Krizoa spirit. Finish this game. Zapping things. Is this the same level as normal Dinosaur Planet? Yeah, it is. Would have been nice if they made a new level for going to the... for that last, like, journey to the Grizzoa Palace. But oh well. We'll take this nice leisurely stroll. Whoop, missed it. It's really hard to get both that and the bomb. Granted, you don't need the bomb at all, so I don't know why I always try to get it, but... We can use it here, blow up all these mines and everything. Oh, I missed the mines. Oh, well. The Crusoe Palace. Yeah. All right, let's go return our Crusoe spirit. Does it go over here? No. Does it go? It might still go down there somewhere. I don't remember there being anything else down there. Does it go over here? Nope, okay, so it must go down there somewhere. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Okay. Where does it go? My Krizoa. Alright, we'll try the next level down. Oh jeez. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that would hurt, Fox. Sorry. I wish they gave you any indication of where you needed to go. Oh, was this that area that I couldn't go through before? This might be where I need to be. Yeah. Yeah, because now this is turned on. Okay, this is the right one. This is where I need to be. So yeah, then there is one more Krizoa that we get. Maybe it's... Oh, we might have to fight General Scales for it. I don't remember. 
This is one of those games, like, I mean, like a Zelda game, where you play through, like, the first half of it a lot, and so you know that half really well, um, but then going back through the rest is, uh, it gets a little hazy. So everybody's acting like it's the last spirit. Like, has nobody... Did nobody count the spirits? Because there is one more, right? Right? Yeah. Here we go. Go in here and get the last one. Of course, uh, we have to walk all the way back up there. Because this game loves, loves making you walk places. Like, there is nothing this game would rather do than have you walk from point A to point B and put those places very far apart. Better yet, they start you at point B, have you walk to point A, and then are like, hey, guess what? You need to be back at point B. Get off my back, wiggly woos. This one? Nope. Once again, you have to walk as far as possible to get to the one you need to get to. That is this game's code of conduct. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just get get away, Fox. I don't care about that guy right now. We've got a game to finish. Okay, was it... Oh, it was on the other side. Zelda roll our way to the other side. It is in the gazebo of the spirits. The prayer gazebo. Teleportation gazebo. Some sort of mythical gazebo. Okay. This looks important. What's in here? Oh boy. One enemy to defeat. Who could it be? And just to, just to let you guys know, scary music. Um, I didn't read the strategy. The last part of the strategy guide I looked at was for Dragon Rock. So I have been off the guide for a while. Um, just because I do want, you know, I want to figure this part out on my own. Or rather remember this part on my own. You may have returned the Spellstone. But the war is not over yet. Now you must face me. Stop! Scales! You are no longer any use to me. What? Who are you? I demand you show yourself! I am the one you brought to Kazoa Palace. The Earthwalkers could see me, but you could not. I don't understand. No, I didn't think you would. Your desire for power overwhelmed you and blinded you to the truth inside. Now give Fox what he's looking for. Give him the final Krizoa spirit. That's you helpful. Thank you, evil voice. This. It was in him all this time. But that voice, I recognize it from somewhere. <laughs> I won't say who it is, just on the off chance that you guys have never played this game and have somehow avoided all spoilers for the ending, I, I won't say who the voice is. Yeah. It's Peppy, okay, the voice is Peppy. Peppy is the bad guy. It's a great plot twist. I just I couldn't hold it in any longer. All right, so let's return this. We're about to finish the game, guys. After all this time. All right. Last one. I gotta, gotta get in my end of game comfort position. Oh 
Almost there. How does he know that's not what's supposed to happen? Wake oh, up. No. Wake up. Something ominous is happening. No. Ah! Oh. Cue music. It's so cute! It's so cute! I am reborn! The mighty Krozoa God! Uh oh. Even though you are our our god and rule our planet. Once we see you as this floating disembodied head, we suddenly reject you. My staff. You're back. I would love if one of those just hit it and it blew up and it's like, there, problem solved. Could you just shot at it with the staff, Fox? But, we get to end this game on an R-Wing level, so, nice little final admittance that, yeah, it's a Star Fox game. I've been looking forward to this day, to see you again, Fox McCloud. Andros! It was him all along. To destroy the Lilac system. The uh, the amount of like articulation on his face is pretty darn impressive. Granted, all he is is a face, so like all of the articulation for his entire body can be concentrated realistically into one area. Boom! 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 Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Push his hand right back through his head. Ring. And another ring. Going a lot better than the final battle with the Aperoid Queen from when we played through that. That was a nightmare. At least I'm able to actually get rings in this fight. Ah! Those things. I would would love if he just started like spitting out the stupid like laughing witch bats. Better yet, like the Krizoa head turns around and Andros, and then Andros turns around and no, it's a bat. It's a bat. All along it was those bats. They were the masterminds behind the whole thing. I got hit by most of those. <laughs> Some more of those rings. Thank you. Ow, I ran into a rock. Can I hit it while I was doing that? Oh no, I can't. Okay. Ow. Should probably try actually avoiding that. Might be the better strategy. I feel like his hands have a lot more health the second time around. I feel like I blew them up very quickly the first time. There we go. There 
we go. Oh no, we can't get away. Whatever will we do? And now I can. Hey, McCloud. Different time, different planet, and you still need Falco's help. It's good to see you, buddy. Glad he took his ship with him when he left the team. Do you guys ever know, like, Valko's subtitles for this segment are, like, miles off from what he's actually, like, they happen years after he actually, or no, years before he actually talks. And get the bomb. Okay, so now we're ready. So when he breathes in, we're gonna go all Dodongo on his butt. Woo! And boop -a -boop, and okay, we gotta dodge the brain. Huh. Huh. The ring. Okay. Shoots off his brain missiles. Woo! Woo! Whoop. Thought it might be a better idea to just try to dodge them, but that didn't wind up really working. Almost missed the bomb, because I was not paying attention. There was a small particle of dust over here falling from the sky, and it was extremely distracting. Ow. Ow. Ring, ring, ring. And... Whoa! Okay. And bomb! And blast to the brain! And dodge! And blast to the brain! And dodge! And blast to the brain! And dodge. And then this last time, he doesn't jab, so just keep... Oh, I missed anyway. I was gonna say, just keep blasting. Because what harm could it possibly do? But, uh... But then I missed anyway, so it didn't matter. Shoot down the missiles. Boop, 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 boop. Get the ring. And get the bomb. Oh, that time I was ready for it. Got it right away that time. And bomb in your mouth. Ow. And dodge. Like, just a couple more hurts. Yeah! Guys, guess what? We, you and I, together as a team, we just beat Star Fox Adventures. It's done. That's the end of the game. We finished it. I don't know what episode we're on. Um, we're a ways in. But we did it. And we did it before Star Fox Zero came out. That's an accomplishment. I was worried. I wasn't sure if we were actually going to make it, but we did. So go us. We did it. Um, if you've been watching this entire time, Congratulations! You just sat through what many consider to be the worst Star Fox game. Either this or Command are kind of the the top picks. So, uh, good on you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's uh, enjoy this ending together. We've earned it. That's pretty. Yay! Turns out, they hated scales all along. I guess. He was, I guess, just some sort of bully who was controlling them or something. I assume that means they ate general scales? It must. I mean, I can, I can only assume that's what happened. Job. Gunrope, have a here! 
Good work, Starbucks team. I received a message from the King and Queen Earthwalker, thanking you for saving their world. Oh, and Tricky says hi. I was, however, very surprised to hear that Andros was still alive. Not as much as we were. It seems that Andros discovered the ancient power of the Krizoa, and by trapping Crystal, who had the ability to channel this power, he was able to use this energy to revive himself. Makes sense. We'll Makes total sense. I'm transferring your fee as we speak. Ever out. Woohoo! Yeah! We can finally repair the ship! And I really need some oil. These joints are not what they used to be. And I can't wait to get back with the Yay. Starbucks team. Ooh, watch his terrible walk cycle. Hey guys, Look at him slide. You don't mind if I hang with you again, do ya? Sure, Falco. It's great to have you back. The Starbucks team is back together again! Oh, Fox! I almost forgot! I received this message from Crystal! Hi, Fox. I really appreciate what you did for me. I'm just so sorry we didn't get much of a chance. Shh, she stole one of the sharp class ships, apparently. One more thing to do. And that's to say thank you. Well, uh, awkward sexy okay. music. Uh, I mean, sure, no problem. <laughs> You're not shy, are you, Fox? My sensors indicate Fox's temperature is rising. Are you okay, Fox? <laughs> <laughs> So silly. So I'm funny. Be just fine. No. And that's it. That's the end. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, if you like Star Fox in general, or you just want to say anything about anything, leave me a note down in the comments. Uh, since we are almost done with these Star Fox Let's Plays, as we kind of get to Star Fox Zero, obviously I'll be playing that, I'll be finishing up Star Fox Command, but as we start to get to the end of these, um, I'm going to be looking for games that you guys requested once I get back to my normal John Plays Music uh, session thing. So, uh, if you have games you want to play, let me know down in the comments, let me know what you think of this game, and uh, let me know how excited you are for Star Fox Zero. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Nintendo World Report TV, and check out NintendoWorldReport.com for lots of other videos. Real quick, general kind of final thoughts on this game, now that, you know, we've gone through it again together, um, I still like this game. Um, obviously, not a traditional Star Fox game, much more of a Zelda game, uh, but it does a lot of cool things. The entirely seamless, uh, very open world that you get to explore, and I didn't even do a lot of the side quests. I was kind of straight through on the main storyline, so there is still a lot more to do in this game that we didn't even do. Um, but that... And then, of course, the music is fantastic because it's David Wise doing the compositions of Koji Kondo, which is just this awesome combination of just fantastic musical wonderment. And it's awesome. And then on top of that, um, this game is one of the few examples of a game where not only is it technically beautiful, but is also artistically beautiful. Um, you get a lot of games where... I'm going to take off my headphones because I have just this music blaring in my head. Um, you have a lot of games where you'll see, uh, like, really good, you know, technical prowess. A game like, you know, Conduit, where, you know, on a technical level, that game is very impressive. But on an artistic level, it is kind of lacking. And so, while it technically looks good, it doesn't actually, you know, look good, um, artistically. Um, and then you'll get other games where, you know, the design of them is just fantastic, but there isn't a lot behind them really pushing that design to be what it could potentially be. Um, trying to think of a game, I guess a game like, you know, like Darksiders 2, you know, very artistically beautiful, but graphically is pretty meh. Um, this game, especially for, obviously for its time, um, is both graphically, it's graphically like artistically satisfying and technically satisfying, and that results in just this visually stunning game that is very nostalgic to play and like the images with it just stick in your head because it just looks so perfect. The art and the technical design just mesh so perfectly and it results in just a fantastic game. Music fits in there great and it just exudes nostalgia. Whether you like this game or not, I can't believe that if you if you played through it 
when you were younger that playing through it now wouldn't elicit that sense of nostalgia uh, that it does for me. Um, especially Cape Claw. My goodness, the music there is fantastic. Um, but yeah. That is Star Fox Adventures, the black sheep of the Star Fox franchise. Um, still a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, I strongly recommend it. Uh, it plays great, looks great, sounds great, and is just a fun, fun time. And uh, come April 22nd, I think it's safe to say it'll probably be non-canon. Um, so uh, enjoy it while it's still in the canon. Uh, once again, thank you guys very much for watching, and of course, I will see you next time. Bye.